Hello, and welcome to Not Your Inspiration, the very shitty podcast uh, that I just created today. And I am your host, Gray. Um, and I just want to clarify I say this is a shitty podcast not to put myself down, um, but I am recording with a $20 mic bought off eBay um, laying in bed. So, you know, honesty is the best policy. So, this podcast is going to be kind of about disability for disabled people. I think a lot of the things about disability out there are by able-bodied people for able-bodied people, and they portray disability in this awful and very false light. You know, you get podcasts that are, you know, 10 things you shouldn't say to your disabled kid for able-bodied parents. You get able-bodied parents writing blogs about their disabled kids. And of course, in Hollywood, you have able-bodied actors kind of trying to play these very falsified and romanticized stories about disability. And very rarely are disabled people consulted or talked to. And, you know, I think even sometimes um, you get disabled people kind of trying to play up for the able-bodied audience. And this is not that. This is for um, a disabled audience, and it's also for a queer audience. We're definitely going to talk about a lot of queer theory and kind of the intersections of disability and being queer. So this is the first episode, and in this episode, I really just want to introduce the series and introduce myself, kind of talk about what we're going to talk about. Um, So this episode might be a little shorter, and it might be a little more rambly, than most of the other episodes will be. Um, So just bear with me. I've never done this. I I really don't have any podcasting experience. And again, I really don't say that to cause apprehension. I say it because I want people to know that I'm very much, I'm one of us, you know? I'm just another face in the crowd. I'm really not, you know, I'm not even like, you know, oh, I've won 18 gold medals in the Paralympics and I'm here to inspire you and overcome your disability. I'm actually very anti-overcoming disability. I don't think disability is something that needs to be overcame. I don't think it's a negative. I think it's part of us. And I think that is very important to honor. So you might be thinking, what the hell is this podcast really about? And you know what? I'm asking myself the exact same question. And the honest answer is, I have no fucking clue. This podcast is really going to be about whatever we want it to be about. And you also might hear my dog barking in the background. She's our guest for today. Um, She might be our guest every day, just depending on how it goes. Anyway, back to my point. What the hell am I doing? And I'm doing whatever we want it to be. This podcast is for the listener. It's for fun and it's for a sense of community. Um, I think disability is lonely by nature. And whether that is feeling just misunderstood by the able-bodied people in our lives or whether it's a very practical loneliness because you can't leave the house or get out of bed, disability is lonely and that is fucking awful. And if I can just talk into a microphone and make someone feel a little less lonely, then I've done my duty. Um, So anyway, back to my point, I have some what I think are cool things lined up. We're going to talk about kind of the history of the cripple punk movement and what that means to people. We're going to talk about disability history, um, the stigma around certain diseases and mental illnesses. We're going to have guests. We're going to talk about sexuality and disability with um, Bill, who is QCrip on Tumblr and Pansy St. Batty on Instagram. We're going to talk with um, a few sort of doctors who work with disability and um, trans people. Uh, We're going to talk to um, different guests who have different disabilities. I think the important thing is understanding people and understanding people who are different. You know, a big thing in this community is that it's so diverse, it's important to not talk over people um, and to listen to other people's experience. So I have some cool things lined up, some cool things up my sleeve that, well, I think they're cool. I don't know if anyone else will think they're cool, Um, but I do. And this is a very anti-pity 
podcast and this is not an inspiring podcast. You know, I was talking to a friend and they were like, you know, so who's your target audience? And I thought to myself and I decided my target audience is the bitter cripple. You know, the person who is sick of being told how to live their life, sick of being told what medical treatments to try and, you know, what non-medical treatments to try and just sort of disillusioned with the system in general. And um, we're definitely going to talk about the role that capitalism plays in sort of making disabled people feel um, inferior. And this is some light socialism. You know, there's definitely going to be a light sprinkling of casual Marxism throughout this podcast. So if you're like a diehard, um, you know, like I love billionaires capitalist, this may not be uh, the podcast for you. And another thing that I was thinking is, how do I make this accessible to everyone? Um, I currently am dealing with my own personal health struggles, and it is not possible for me to caption every episode thoroughly, um, which makes this very inaccessible to the deaf and hard of hearing community. Um, And I also know that some people just don't have the attention span to sit and listen to a podcast that has no visuals or anything. Um, And so I really do want to know how to make this more accessible. And I would love to hear from you guys. So please let me know. Um, The reason that this podcast is being hosted on a YouTube channel as opposed to the podcast app is because in order to host it on the podcast app, you need to link it to um, a WordPress blog or some other type of blog. Um, There are sites that host podcasts, but it costs money. um, And I... I'm not in a place to pay that, so therefore, it's going to live on this nice little YouTube channel. Um, So I also apologize for that. I have no podcasting experience, so um, this might be a little rough around the edges, but I think the content is there, and I think the content is what matters. So for today's episode, I was thinking I would introduce the podcast and just sort of... um, talk about kind of, I think the main, I don't want to say tropes because life is not a movie, but for lack of a better word, kind of the main tropes that able-bodied tend to put disabled people in. And I think those tropes tend to be um, the easy on the eyes, inspiring disabled person who isn't down and doesn't feel emotion and is very positive all of the time and kind of works to quote unquote overcome their disability. And I think that's kind of the, the person that able-bodied people want to see because, oh, they're so sweet or they're so inspiring. Um, and I don't think anyone really is that person all the time. Even the people who have that persona on all the time, I don't think it's possible to always be that person um, without you know, losing your mind. And then I think another trope is the exact opposite, um, kind of the bitter disabled person who hates life and is just angry and able-bodied people hate that um, but it's real and I'm not saying that disabled people should hate themselves or feel superior um, I'm sorry inferior that's not at all what I'm saying but I think those negative emotions are very real and I don't think it makes anyone a bad activist or a bad disabled person to admit that it's hard It is hard. It's expensive. It's painful. It's lonely. It's challenging. And that's real. And that doesn't make anybody a bad disabled person. That doesn't make anybody less than. And you shouldn't feel bad about it. You know, I think everyone's allowed to miss their health and everyone's allowed to grieve. And of course, it's important to not be in that mindset all of the time. Um, But it's okay to be in that mindset some of the time. It's okay to acknowledge that mindset. And I don't think able-bodied people are always ready to admit that. And then, of course, the other trope is just the bad disabled person. The disabled person who does drugs or smokes or drinks alcohol or doesn't try every single treatment on the market. Um, And able-bodied people think that all disabled people need to be Puritan saints, or else we are not worth our accommodations. And of course, that is bullshit. It does not matter how much a disabled smokes or drinks or does drugs or 
never goes to the doctor or whatever. Um, every single disabled person is worth accommodations and worth living, basically, and worth the money or time or whatever it takes to live, no matter um, what able-bodied people say about it and how much they disagree with that. You know, I, I think a lot of times people think that disabled people have to earn our accommodations. We have to, you know, prove that we're worth them. And that's bullshit. It doesn't matter how horrible of a person you are. Every single disabled person is worth their accommodations. And of course, the reason why people say that some of us are not, I think all leads back to money and this lie of worth that we've been told. And I'm going to get into that on different episodes, uh, but right now I kind of want to sidetrack myself and jump to a different topic of what about all of the able-bodied people listening to this podcast? And to that, I just want to say my goal here is not to shame anybody. Uh, It's not to create an exclusionist group of disabled people that only other disabled people can listen to. You know, this podcast is not for an able-bodied audience. I'm not tailoring it for able-bodied people to learn something. But if you're able-bodied and you're listening, that's totally fine. And I think if able-bodied people can learn something from this, that's amazing. You know, it's not necessarily my main motivation, but I have, you know, nothing against education. I think education is important. I don't think disabled people's existence should be all about educating able-bodied people. You know, we're not teachers. We're not, it's not our job. We're we're allowed to exist in, in public and we're allowed to be visible and we're allowed to be loud without also having to be educators. That said, personally, I don't mind if an able-bodied person learns something from this podcast. It's just not tailored for that audience. And I think that's kind of the point I want to make is, you know, there are disabled people that we do see in media, but most of the time they're written by and for an able-bodied audience. So much of the disabled people that we see in the public eye is written by and for um, an able-bodied audience. And that's problematic for many ways, in many ways. Um, I think the main way it's problematic is it just reinforces these tropes, basically, of helplessness or inspiration or us being just pitiful and worthless. And it's kind of this endless cycle. Um, You know, if you have a disabled actor in Hollywood, for example, who can't get a job, basically, because no casting directors will hire them, they'd rather hire able-bodied actors to play disabled roles, you know, that person will take any role they can to put food on their table. But chances are, that role is written by an able-bodied writer, and it's for an able-bodied audience. And it's this endless cycle of inaccurate representation. And of course, one podcast isn't going to change that. Um, It takes a lot to change that, I think. But I think it's important to work to change that and to take a stand that it's not okay. Um, Because it's not. So I know that I've been a bit rambly this episode, kind of drawing on and on. It's the first thing you see in what not to do when you're making a podcast. You know, don't ramble. And don't punch your peas. And I'm doing both of those things. Um, I've just word vomited on this. And I promise that not every episode will be like this. Every other episode is uh, scripted a little more than this one has been scripted. And most other episodes will feature guests. Um, The next episode that I do is going to be about the history and origins of the Cripple Puck movement. And it's going to be about Tyler, the creator. Um, And it's going to feature one of their best friends. Um, So that'll have a different tone than this sort of rambly, you know, what the hell's going on episode. Um, So don't tune out right now if you hate this episode. This is the first ever podcast that I've done. So, you know, just stay tuned. You know, I'll I'll clean it up. I'll uh, smooth out the edges and we'll have a great little show running here. So I'm going to sign out and I just want to say... You know, if you are disabled and perhaps looking to find a community, um, 
here you go. Here's your little community. And I hope that we can build kind of a strong community around this and pull from other communities, you know, online. There are so many subgroups of disabled communities out there on the internet. And I think, I think we should all come together, not to be sappy or anything. I sound like a Beatles song, and I don't mean to. We're very anti-Beatles here. So argue about that in the comments. Anyway, take care of yourselves as always, and thank you for listening. I'll see you next week.